I'm always doing the most Finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back Let Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video so I'm going to start off by using the outer space cuticle pusher and I'm pushing back the cuticles on all 10 nails and yes my client has bitten all of her skin around her nails and they are a little bit sore and not very cool right now but we're going to work our magic and do our best to make this set look bomb.com lit as fuck. I'm really going to try my best like y'all. So yeah, I'm just pushing back the cuticles. This cuticle pusher is an amazing shape and I just love it. I prefer it over the flat ones as well. So a new item we have on GlitterPlanetUK.com are the cuticle nippers. These are the ones to match the cuticle pusher and they are absolutely stunning. You get a protective cap as well to store your nippers away, which I think is amazing and obviously we have to have all the little extra details here because I really want to bring you guys the best of the best of the best okay so I'm just coming in and I'm trimming away the dead skin now this particular client because she bites her nails and maybe has her fingers in her mouth a lot I'm guessing since she bites them um, she has a lot of excess skin and cuticle every single time that she comes to me so today I have took the plunge and decided that enough was enough I am taking control I am going to be nipping away the excess skin now I don't do this for every single client but today it was necessary and I really wanted to make these nails just look as beautiful as I possibly could so that is what I'm showing you guys here also I wanted to demonstrate our new outer space cuticle nippers to show you guys the blade is extremely sharp they are so easy to use to store away to clean they can be sanitized and sterilized and everything like that so they are a perfect tool to have just in case you know I mean, I don't cut everybody's clients. I don't trim everybody's cuticles. Cut everybody's clients? That is not cool. I don't trim um, all of my clients' cuticles, but it's necessary to have this tool there just in case you do need it. So after I've done that, I come in with my cuticle cleaning bit, and this is from Todak USA. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove the dead skin that's grown down my client's nails to make sure that we are um, making the, the prep 100%, making sure that that nail plate is 100% free of any dead skin, debris, anything that's gonna affect the enhancement that needs to be removed. So now that I've done that, I'm coming in with our pre-pinched square tips and I have just placed mine into a box that I already have. The reason we don't sell them in boxes is because the shipping would automatically go up to a parcel size. So to, sh um, to save on the shipping a little bit for you guys, we kept them in bags. So I hope you guys don't mind about that. We may supply boxes in the future, but at the minute they are in bags and yeah, I hope that is not a problem. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and glue the tips on. And I'm using NSI's poly bond glue and these tips just are absolutely beautiful, stunning. They give a really natural slender shape to the nail. They're not too wide and the C-curve is literally bomb.com. If you guys have these tips, you know how stunning they are. They are not like any other tips that I've ever used. They are wellless. They've got an extra deep C-curve. These, I would say you are, if you've got flatter nail beds, I would go up for these ones over our pre-pinched stiletto tips because the stiletto tips are an extreme C-curve, like more than this. Um, but yeah, I mean, my nail beds are pretty like normal and I can use the stiletto ones. But yeah, just a little heads up there for you guys. So this is what the tips look like after I had shaped them into a coffin shape, filed, buffed and prepped, ready for acrylic application. And I'm just going to show you guys what glitters I am using today. So I'm using Rainbow Lights Glitter and this is literally stunning. And I'm just going to turn the brightness down and out of focus for you guys so you can sort of see the colours shining. That way it can pick it up on screen and you guys can see it. So the next glitter I'm using is Mermaid Dreams and this is absolutely stunning. And then I'm using Unicorn Dreams which I also absolutely love. 
also going to be using some of our unicorn film and this is the light pink you actually get seven different colors 20 centimeters in length in the collection so it's an absolute bargain price so I've gone ahead and I've trimmed this to the shape of the nail that I'm applying it to and I'm just going to go ahead and crumple it up and this is basically just going to add the lines into the film and make it look almost like crackled glass or crackled ice um, and then I'm going to reopen that back up which was a little bit difficult with my long nails and my gloves as well um, but yeah I'm just opening that back up smoothing it out a little bit we don't want to remove those crinkle effects but yeah now I'm going to go ahead and measure that up to the nail make sure it fits again and apply it using a wet bead of acrylic So now that I've applied the film and it's on there nice and secure with the acrylic, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some of the Rainbow Lights glitter down the side of it and then on top of that I will go ahead and apply some of the other chunkier glitters. The one that I'm going to be using is a bit of the Unicorn Dreams underneath and then on top of that a little bit of the Mermaid Dreams. Now the intention for this unicorn film nail was to actually fill the entire nail with the film, however I didn't have my scissors so I actually cut the shape with my cuticle nippers which was almost impossible but I got there in the end and I actually absolutely love how it turned out with the glitter to the side of it and then the film at the other side, I think it just looked so freaking bomb. So moving on to the next nails and I'm just going to go ahead and create a random design. I've got some ombre, some glitter fade, some marble designs. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and let you guys watch the whole rest of this set and then I will be back near the end. So I really hope that you enjoyed the rest of this video and if you are enjoying it right now, please can you give it a thumbs up and also share it as well. It will just really, really help me out because I am aiming to hit 100k for the new year so I can have a massive party obviously <laughs> why else um yeah so enjoy and i'll be back
So for this nail, after I've filed, buffed and capsulated everything is finished, I'm going ahead and applying some builder gel as a base and then I'm going to be applying some strips of our unicorn film and I've just cut these up into thin slices and I'm applying them straight up and down the nail. I think this effect is just absolutely stunning and I really think that I am addicted to the word stunning. Like I say it all the time and I don't know why. I think I need to change it up a bit. Anyway guys, I finished off by encapsulating that design there, adding my top coat and this is the final result. I absolutely love how the set turned out. It's a shame about the cuticle areas but there's nothing I can do about that. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and please always remember that you are bomb.com lit as fuck and don't ever let anyone tell you any different because you've got this and I love you. Mwah. Bye! See you later alligator! I'm always doing the most, finish my cup and reload Let it swing right back, let it swing right back